So then on DJ just released the SC5000M Prime. It's a brand new media player that looks a lot like the SC5000 Prime released last year, but this time with a motorized platter. That means you're basically getting an actual spinning jog wheel, kind of like a turntable platter, instead of the usual plastic jog wheel. It's also got all the other good stuff that made the SC5000 Prime a great media player. Stuff like a 7-inch high-res touchscreen display with a fast refresh rate, 8 performance pads on the unit itself, 3 USB and 1 SD card slot, Dual layer playback, meaning you can have up to two songs playing on a single SE5000M Prime, and compatibility with Denon DJ's Engine Prime library software. Basically, you can think of the SE5000M as an SE5000, but with a motorized jog wheel. So, what's so great about having a motorized jog wheel on a media player like this? Let's take a look at a DJ turntable. Now, if you've never used one before, here's how it works. You pop a record over onto the platter, put the needle on the record, hit start, and the track plays. Now, if you were to scratch with this, you do so by putting your hand on the record and moving it backwards and forwards, all while the platter below it continues to spin. Likewise, if you were beat matching two records together, you do it by slowing down and speeding up the record by gently pushing on the record itself, or dragging your finger around the rim of the platter of the turntable. On a SC5000 or a CDJ, you're able to do all of those same movements, of course, but without anything spinning underneath. So the feel is kind of different. If you're a turntablist or a DVS DJ who prefers turntables because of their tactile nature, this motorized spinning platter plays a huge part in delivering that experience. And that's what the SC5000M wants to do for media players. It wants to add that kinetic tactile turntable experience over onto a digital device. It essentially places a physical spinning platter so you get the feel and response of something moving under your figures as you scratch or as you beat match. And there really is a difference because when you've got your hand on a piece of vinyl and you scratch and then you let go of the record, it takes a fraction of a second for the record to spin at full speed. And that's why sometimes you've got to apply a little bit of pressure and push the record ever so slightly when you let go of it so it catches up. That's what controls like the touch brake dials on a CDJ2000 Nexus to try to emulate. Now, having a spinning platter gives you the actual physics of all of this instead of an emulation, so it feels more natural. Plus, your hand actions have more of an influence over the way a track plays back. Spinning platters on media players isn't new. Technix had the SLDZ1200 back in the early 2000s, and then on DJ itself released a motorized media player called the DNS3700 back in 2010. Newmark has also done this with the NS7 series, which is currently at its third iteration. So yeah, motorized platters like those found on the SC5000M are for DJs who prefer the feel of a turntable spinning as opposed to a static plastic jog wheel. Now, one thing the SC5000 Prime has that the SC5000M Prime doesn't have is a display in the center of the jog wheel, but it's not really a deal breaker at all unless you rely heavily on stuff like needle position and loop or cue countdowns, or you know you like putting your selfies as a logo. One potential downside to having a spinning platter is the added weight. Having a powerful motor on board could make the SC5000M Prime heavier than the SC5000, though we can't really say that for a fact until we've had actual hands-on time with it. We're reviewing it here as soon as it drops, so make sure you're subscribed to our channel. The price is set to $1,899, which is identical to the SC5000 Prime. So really, the SC5000M isn't replacing the SC5000 at all. It's just a different player in the Prime series altogether that's aimed more at turntablists and DJs who prefer the feeling of a moving platter. So that's it. If you want to know more about the Denon DJ SC5000M Prime, check out our article on the site. I've got the link to that below this video. Let me know what you think of this device. Do you want it? Is it great? Is it gimmicky? Let me know in the comments. Give me a like and share this with other DJs who you think would be interested in this pair. My name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you next time.